Welcome to Girl Talk. Listen, a recent Twitter spat between two public figures had us questioning again how we treat each other on social <coughs> media. We see things too often to ignore and we need to treat each other with respect online people and, and in real life. Because I feel like some of us treat people with respect in real life because we're afraid of the consequences, but we feel there are no consequences online. Mm -hmm. So we really take it to where it doesn't need to go. Um, so the blog by Mara Shapiro, she's a contributor, mm -hmm. treat people on social media as you would in real life. The golden rule applies everywhere, every time. Do anyhow. hunt to others. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Correct, correct, correct. So. <clears throat> but I find in this, this age, the law of anonymity makes a lot of people brave mm -hmm. and bold. Um, yeah. Unique uh, Page hosted a, a Twitter spaces the other day. Mm -hmm. One of the guests who presented was a lawyer. It's a lawyer, one of them. And he said that, you know, people need to be so careful about what they say in the space because mm -hmm. defamation is a real thing. Absolutely. With, with some fines as high as $15 million, depending on what you say. But the rule of thumb, he said, is when you post something on Twitter to somebody and you tag them, is that something you'd be willing to stand up and say to their, to their face? Oh, no. Right? But when you look at a lot of these handles and the people who are most fire stoking, the kerosene Twitters, I remember a Dr. Um, Gail's argument from early, um, are the folks who typically hide behind, we call them eggs, mm -hmm. don't know who they are, usually a burner account with one, one oh, people. Oh, it's always the flowers or the puss or the, or the dog or, or the, the avatar. Egg. Right. And, and, right. and, and so, there, so there are many levels of it, Simone, because there are those who hide behind that 100%, and then there are those who have five... Burner accounts. Burner accounts. Yeah. Yeah. And so they'll have their personal account, and they're saying one thing, and they're being neutral, and they're being passive. And, but when they're the post, they're, they're becoming this mean unreasonable, mm. arrogant person. It's crazy. I want to tell you, I, I've, I've been, um, we oh, call so, it sorry. dragged. Yes. Can you say, clarify, when I say become the post, oh. and I mean on Twitter, there is something, the profile picture says who you are, and there are a lot of people on Twitter who have up a picture of a post, or they have up a flowers, or they have up an avatar, and, and, I, and it's always the posts are the flowers are the mm -hmm. avatar mm -hmm. that is coming with the most, I mean, mm -hmm. if you're so, if you are so led and if you are so passionate about what you're saying, put your face there and stand by what you're saying. The fact that you cannot stand by what you're <clears> saying. <throat> I know you're no stranger to Twitter, Pulls, drags, me, well, stabs, kicks, and bruises. <laughs> so I, it reached me already too. Um, so I live. So I, I, I practice what I preach. I try to. I do yes. it all the time. And one of the things I said to people is, I here we are saying do what you would in real life. So you know, be as respectful as you probably would in real life. Mm -hmm. No, in real life, if you disrespect me, you're come, you're I'm dismissing out. you. I'm dismissing you. So if I'm on social media and you disrespect me, I'm good. Mm -hmm. We're gonna say mm -hmm. bye mm -hmm. real quick. Mm -hmm. it's, it's amazing. Yeah. I mean, uh, and usually they're on the side of wrong, you know, the mob mentality, right? But one person just has to jump on and then the chorus comes and it, the kind of things you're called and the kind of things that are said to you, you know, it's. It's really a, a bad, 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 bad situation. It is. Um, it is. But I don't see it ever changing until we really start to make people accountable for mm -hmm. what they post in the space. And right now in Jamaica, we don't have that culture. Right. Um, 
But let's let's see what Mara is Mara, saying. yeah. Mm -hmm. So she says there are some social media fails that she sees on a daily basis. One of them we've already addressed, which you have the nerve to disagree with me. Mm -hmm. Like if I say so, it's so. Mm. We're all allowed to have our own opinions. And so if someone says something and you don't agree, that's all right. Mm -hmm. Because you can have your own opinion. And, and your own opinion is, I wish you would go dead. That, not, not that. Like, you can have a disagreement or a disagreement in viewpoint and still be respectful about it. Even mm -hmm. if it gets spicy and saucy, so the discussion can be, I wish somebody would kill you. That cannot be. No. Cannot be an argument mm -hmm. that, you, that you have as a respectful retort. Cannot work. Yeah. She started it. Which means if, if, because this person was rude, I'm going to be rude mm -hmm. too. And if mm -hmm. this person goes into the gutter, I'm diving in. Mm -hmm. um, so you have a block. Yes, doesn't mm -hmm. make sense, the tit for tat. At the end of the day, what you're really arguing about gets lost. Um, you're the master of your own response. People can only affect you if you let them. Mm -hmm. A little easier said and written than done. But over time, you learn to develop that. Mm -hmm. second skin where things start to kind of bounce off yeah. um, of you. Especially when you figure that, you know, guys, it doesn't really matter what you think cannot harm me in that way. I remember somebody saying, oh, you're cancelled. We're going to cancel you. And I'm like, no, no, unless your name God. Cancel you? Yeah. Unless your name God, you cannot cancel me. Here I am still two years after that tweet. Thriving. So I guess your cancellation was Yeah, canceled. and I find that the people who are quick to say, let's cancel, <clears throat> ha, are people who, let me not, anyway. Okay. Don't <laughs> assume you know everything. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, just because you have a Twitter account, doesn't mean you know everything. Bull in a china shop, you have a right to air your opinions, but you get more flies with honey. Mm-hmm. You're not better than me. Who are you to show me the way? Yes, yes. Like you say, you know, I think, you think because so, so, you think because you have a degree, you're smarter than me. Nobody said that. We were just having a conversation. You think because you're you, uh, you, 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 you think check how you're older than me. Oh, no boy. Than me. Oh, boy. said that. Where, where, is we old, where that does ages in thing come from? You're old. I'm, I got that I a lot when I got dragged. I am you're, old. You're and not I old. Like it. I don't have a problem. You're not with old. It, no. And if there's a, a 25 or a 30 year old calling you old, the truth is that tomorrow when they wake up, they're going to be a day older than they were the day before. And at some point, you're going to hit 40. And what's going to happen? What's going to happen? Know, when you get if, there? if people call me, if people, that, so, so I think there are things people use to, to be rude to people. To try to be rude. I don't hmm. mind them. I, the, like if you tell me, say, my old, me, not, me love old people so much, I respect old people so much, I think old people is such a wealth of knowledge and experience that if somebody look at me and tell me, say, my old, me not, me, me, thank you. Good. Thank you. I'm, I'm, I'm getting there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm getting there. And I look good for your old. old hey. So me not mind. Yes. <laughs> Uh, what, so here are some three questions before you act. Kadina, I'm going to run them off quickly. Sorry, my love. Would I say that to your face? What would I do if my kids did that? How would I feel if someone said that to me? Because another thing I'm very cognizant of is that Twitter does not tell you people's age. And you very well, as an adult, could be engaging in a conversation with a 16-year-old or an 18-year-old, and it's not going anywhere because both of you have different frames of reference and a different lens on life. That was my eureka moment. So you don't know who you talk to mm -hmm. if, you to, if you argue with a bees or a flowers mm -hmm. or a post. Mm -hmm. so. But there were your guidelines for if you post. Come again, is it true? Is it helpful? Is it? I mean, I will put them up. Inspiring. Who... Is it necessary? Is okay. it kind? Yeah. Today's World Thinking Day. Think before you post. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. All right. Is it necessary? It necessary. Sometimes it's on things me I wonder. 
I said to people, there are things we tell people on social media, people we don't know, that we would never say to our own family. Not even with neighbor. But we have put it upon social media. Lord, I woke up this morning and my me, me, me knee hurt me. <laughs> <laughs> That's it for Girl Talk, guys. Was it any real to me? Yeah.